Hey everybody, Brad here with GeoArm Security. Today I'm going to show you how to program an external contact using the 60-362N-10-319.5. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is grab the contact that we'll be using. We're going to empty all of the insides or contents out of the box. You got a couple clear packages. You have your contact and you have your uh, instruction manuals, all right? So you wanna keep the box in its uh, in resellable condition, just in case you need to return it for whatever reason. Place that to the side. You're going to grab your instruction manual, all right? And you can read through the first page, and uh, in other videos we describe you know, how to use the different, and program the different read switches. Um, so we will be looking down here for the jumper, which is in figure four. We've already done read B, which is default, read A, we've done a video, and then now we'll be doing the external contact, all right? So with that in mind, you can put the instructions aside. What we're gonna do is we're going to open this contact by depressing at the top and kind of separating it from the contact itself, exposing the insides. Now we'll be going to the jumper, and as we know, uh, as we just saw in the figure four, we're going to remove the jumper altogether, exposing all three prongs. That's going to allow us to use the external, um, the external terminals. All right, so keep this just in case you ever need to reuse it. I like to put it back in the box so I don't lose it. All right, so now that we have that ready to go, what we're going to do is first wire up the contact so that it is ready to use the external contact. All right, so we're going to take, for example, uh, this is a good example of when this is used. This is a garage, an overhead garage door contact. All right, you see how it has the wires at the end. All right, now in this you will also read uh, right under figure seven, where it's, uh, this will tell you basically how to uh, wire external contacts, uh, external contact wiring. All right, and you'll see that there's a resistor required. All right, so now go ahead and locate the package with the mounting brackets for the contact, and you'll see the resistor right there. So we're gonna remove that from the package. All right, there is your resistor. All right, so now that we have the resistor that comes with the contact, we're going to grab an end of the actual magnet part or the actual contact part of the overhead garage door contact with the two wires exposed all right and I like to use the uh, you'll see on these two ends one is a little shorter than the other I like to use the long one doesn't really matter which one you use all right and we're going to take the resistor and we are going to uh, we're going to twist this together at the very end like so All right, try to make it as neat as possible. That's what I like to do. And then you'll be using the actual end of the resistor right here. All right, so now you can locate your contact. All right, and now you want to run these wires, both of them, run them through the back of the contact, push them up and out a little bit. All right, and now you're going to wire in the resistor into the right terminal, the one not labeled ground. All right, just wire that right in like so. Screw it in. There you go, not too tight. And then now take the other one, wire that into the other terminal. Go ahead and screw that one in as well. All right, and then you can pull the excess wire uh, you can pull the excess wire right through. All right. And then now you can seal the contact up. Like so. All right. All right. So now that we have that all wired up, that's the hard part. Now let's get into the programming. You're going to use the down arrow. Until you see uh, system programming, select OK. Enter your default code, 4321, OK. All right, now you're going to scroll 
until you see sensors, click OK. Learn sensor, OK. All right, now it's asking us to trip the sensor, so we're going to pop the cover off, which will then, uh, temporarily, which will then, uh, the system will acknowledge it. Now it wants you to assign a group, all right? So 10 would be a entry exit delay. Just to show you that this works, I wanna do it as a 13, which will make it a perimeter or instant. All right, then you're gonna select okay. It asks you to change the description for right now, we'll leave it as front door. Okay, okay again. Now it wants you to trip another sensor. So we're not gonna be working with another sensor, so go ahead and hit status, status, until you get out of programming. Now, this should be all ready to go um, as far as testing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the magnet and the contact right here so that you can see it. All right, right here. All right, now I'm gonna arm the system up. And now you see the system will go through its arming process. As you can see, the system is armed up. So now I'm gonna show you that this external contact uh, is working with this wireless contact, all right? So I'm gonna remove the contact. The alarm should go off. Alarm which it has. So that's how you wire an external contact into the GE Simon XT using the 60-362N dash 10 dash 319.5.